Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Desiree if you're new and I thank you so much for clicking on this video. Today is another sit down video. Um, I just like doing these. If you like them, give, give this video a thumbs up. But anyways, as you can tell, I'm not at home. <laughs> I'm out in pretty rural Kentucky. My son and husband are out um, exploring. They're in their element and I'm in mine in a warm, comfy truck. But anyways, so yeah, it's a sit down video today. This is three ways I've wasted money in my 20s. Now I know um, looking at like the analytics and stuff, a lot of my viewers are not in their 20s. They're more in the 30s, 40s range, but it's still good. A few things that you can think about and um, possibly uh, change if you're going through things similar to me and my husband as well, because he's a little guilty of a couple of these things too. Um, they're all simple. So anyways, let's just get started. Number one is if you're a college student, this is for you. The number one way my both my husband and I wasted money in when we were in our 20s was um, dropping a college class too late. Basically, when you um, sign up for a class, you start it and you discover, oh, this is I've got too much on my plate. I I can't do this course. And of course, it's usually after the first week or so. For the most part, at least when we were in college, um, the first week you like you can get your money back or at least partial credit back to your account. If you end up dropping a class, um, my husband has a bachelor's and had thought about going back or he actually enrolled to go back to school for a master's in education and things changed. Um, decided not to go that route. But anyways, he had signed up for a couple classes, started them, and ended up dropping them. He dropped it soon enough that he got a W on his transcript instead of like completely failing it and just not going to class. Um, and I've done the same. So what you need to do to not make this mistake is when you're going through like the syllabus and stuff um, for your classes, if you think, okay, I don't think I can do this. I signed up for too many credits. You know, I'm working too much. Just think really good and hard about that because at least even if you get half of your tuition back, that's still probably a lot of money. Um, he has was going to a, um, I don't, well, like a cheaper college and I was going to community college. I have my associate's degree, but I've done the exact same thing as him and lost out on a lot of money that way. So yeah, just make sure you think good and hard about this. Um, another thing I need to add into this is because I don't think I ever mentioned it on my channel is my husband and I both got married young. I was 20 and he was 24. So yeah, um, some of these are, some people may go through later in life, but yeah, this is just things that we did in our 20s that I wish if you can go back and change it like a week before for the tuition thing. Yeah, I totally would. <laughs> Number two. This is something that a lot of YouTubers say in videos like this and like ways that they've wasted money or busted their budget or whatever is spending too much on too much money on trendy name brand like clothing items for the most part. Like and I'm including like accessories like shoes and purses. I'm a purse girl. Are you a purse girl, shoe girl, whatever? Or dude, just let me know below what what um what do, what are you guilty spending money on? This is something that started in my teens. Well, actually preteens. Let's just be honest here. My mom used to call me a walking billboard because I just liked the name brands. I liked having the Roxy, your Billabong. I'm from Hawaii, so it was always like a surf like type clothing. But yeah, I liked wearing name brands from head to toe. And... um now, when I think about it, I was kind of a lot of money, $20, $30 on a shirt and stuff. Um, and even after I got married, I've the most expensive purse I've ever bought was $300. And that was a coach purse from like an outlet store. And $200 on a pair of like riding boots, like leather boots up to the knee type over the thigh boots. And so, yeah, I'm kind of curious. How much have you spent on like accessories like that what's the most you've ever spent and was it do you think it was a wise purchase now or 
or not just let me know but anyways um so that purse i did love that purse three hundred dollar purse it was like a tote size it was big but the thing about a big leather purse is that they're heavy the thing about those two hundred dollar boots is they're also kind of heavy and i'm short i'm five two they just didn't look right <laughs> to have it up to the knee it just made me look shorter um but anyways yeah i just just spending too much on on things that don't really matter now if if that's something that you love and you work really hard for then yeah go for it every once in a while but um if you're not like that if you're like me who's a little more practical um then yeah just think twice before making a purchase like that it is fun going into a store like um like what's the store I'm trying to think like Nordstrom and even Nordstrom Rack but it's it's <laughs> it's dangerous so think twice before making purchases like purchases like that if at all possible if you see something you love look at it try it on put it and then put it down and walk away if you walk away and like that night next day whatever you're still thinking about it and it's like okay you know I can use this this many times and it'll just make my life so much happier and that's fine I'm not saying don't do that in none of my videos I'm saying I'm not saying um to go against something that'll make you happy I'm all about making yourself happy <laughs> but um yeah just think twice before making a big purchase like that on something that honestly not going to make your life that much better um for like the thing that i refuse to spend more than like 20 bucks on is a wallet because to me i rather have the money in the wallet than the wallet itself and number three this is <laughs> this is kind of funny but number three is spending a lot on vehicles I'm smiling because this is the vehicle I'm talking about. This is a, I'm sitting in a 2015, um, what is it? It's a Chevrolet Silverado. It's a V6 if you care about engines and stuff because it was cheaper than a V8. And we mostly use it for a road vehicle. But anyways, so this, this tip is for anybody. It's not just for someone in their 20s, although people in their 20s will be the ones who mostly buy I guess newer, nicer vehicles, maybe. I don't know. I don't know. But anyways, so my husband and I both have four vehicles all together. Yeah. Two are pretty much beaters. And then we've got this one I'm sitting in and a Honda Civic, which is 10 years old and was paid off within a year. So the reason why I'm saying don't spend too much on a vehicle is, um, well, interest rates. We got like a 4% interest rate, which is really good, honestly, but that's still money that we're paying someone else. You know what I mean? We don't really follow Dave Ramsey. I I do agree with a lot of um, his principles and his baby steps and stuff, but we don't follow it to a T. Um, like the baby steps for us is kind of jumbled around a little bit. Um, our goal is to be debt free, but we also have other goals along the way, such as um, I'm hoping to get like a rental to turn our current home into a rental eventually. But um, to get to that point, we'd like to be completely debt free. And this vehicle that I'm sitting in is the only thing that other than our house, other than our mortgage is um, what we're paying any interest on. We don't have any consu other consumer debt other than this truck. And the reason why we keep this truck is because it makes me happy. Just like I said in in number two, if it makes you happy, just go with it. 4% interest isn't that much. But if you listen to Dave Ramsey, what he will say is to use those beaters until the wheels fall off. Um, and like my husband, he's really good. He's really handy and he'll fix everything that needs to be fixed. But when we bought this truck, he had just got a new job and he was working a lot like full-time plus a lot of overtime so he just didn't have the time and to us time was money but if at all possible avoid what we did <laughs> avoid buying a car that you just can't afford if you if you can't pay for it in full you can't afford it that's the honest truth okay but yeah this is this is what we did um we thought about selling it but we do have a trailer and it's just it's just nice to have. 
honestly. And the fact that this truck is newer, we could, if we wanted or needed to ever sell it, we can, and we can get a good amount of money back. So that's the reason why we're keeping it. So yeah, I hope you learned something today. If you have any tips on your own, please drop them below. Um, again, I love hearing from you all. So even if it's just a hi, um, that'd be awesome. I hope you enjoyed this video. Again, if you like these um, sit down videos, please give me a thumbs up. Um, I love grocery hauls and stuff, but I don't really want to do an all hauls channel because that just gets kind of boring. And yeah, it, a lot of my purchases lately have been just normal, like bananas and bread and milk. I mean, you know, I buy that stuff. <laughs> so yeah, I hope this, this helped any one of you all. Um, anyways, <laughs> I don't think that came out. Whatever. I'm just rolling with it. I hope everyone has a wonderful and blessed day. Bye.